The next thing I want to do is to change this picture. Um, if I want to highlight it, I just simply click on the picture with my left mouse button and I right click on it and it will give me image properties. When I look at image properties, it's going to give me the size of the image on the left hand side. This is important because I want to have the picture that I upload to be pretty much the same in size um, with these pixels. On the right hand side we'll give properties such as border, um, positioning. You can see this is default, but if I wanted I could change it to float to the right hand side. Here's the preview showing me the left. If I chose float right, see the picture changes over to the right hand side. I'm going to switch that back over to float left. I want to upload a picture in here, so I want to replace this. The way I do that is I click on this personal images and then I upload a file. Now one thing you'll want to know about RV Site Builder is when you upload a file you want to make sure that the name doesn't have any spaces or dashes in it. I needed to change Solutions logo to the name logo so that it would actually show up. When I click on upload it will upload that image in and I'm able to preview it in the right hand screen. So this is just the photograph that I already have. Now, before I place it, I'm going to click on the second options button. It tells me the size, the width, and the height. It's pretty close to what they had. They had 281 by 187. It's going to be a little smaller, but I'm fine with that. The text flow is the default. Um, I'm just going to say I want it to float left. Now the other thing that I like to do is I like to put in some pixels here so that it's not so tight. I don't like my words just banging up against my picture. So I like to put in a buffer zone of maybe five pixels, top, bottom, left, and right. Now the style, um, I've never seen it change to anything different other than default, <laughs> just to let you know from my experience. Um, so that's what you can do with the picture. There are more tools up here. Um, you can move this file within RV Site Builder. Um, you can copy the selected image to another place within RV Site Builder. You can rename it. Um, you can edit the image in here as well or delete it. Um, and you can also add a new folder for your images too. So that's what those tools mean. When I'm all finished, I just click insert and you can see that my picture is inserted. If I wanted to upload a video, let's say I want to have this guy maybe be a little bigger because seeing as it's a video, I'm, well, I don't want him quite that big. So if I made a mistake like that, I'm going to go back to the top, let me scroll up, hit undo, there, I'm back in business. So just as long as you don't get crazy with it, you can undo some of your mistakes. So I'm just going to click and drag this image here. He's being kind of difficult, my little delivery guy. Sometimes you can click on these and it's not a problem just like that. So I'm finding that when I click on the top box it's not a big deal but when I click on the bottom it seems to have a real issue with me making it a little bigger. That's better. So that's going to be my video. I want to have something a little bigger and maybe what I'll decide to do is move it to the right hand side. I'm going to experiment with that. So again I'm going to um, right click on this and actually I'm not going to do that. What I want to do is insert a video. So I'm going to click on the video. If I just clicked on the image, it wouldn't let me upload an image. I need to upload a movie. So that's what the difference is. This is personal media, and I'm going to upload this little video ditty that I did um, for Got Clicks. Again, I browse through my files, and I'm going to go into my documents, and I know that I have one from one of my um, uh, BYOL parties. So that's a video that I have and keep this in mind um, when you're doing this you want it to be in either of these formats either a movie format, Windows Media Player format or an SWF file and they have to be smaller than 2 megs. So now that I have that I just click upload and then it can upload my video in here.
So now you see that I've uploaded my Windows Media Player file. It's all here. I can click on Options. I like to do that to make sure that I've got the size. Now here, this is where I don't want it to be quite that large. Um, I'm going to bring it right down to maybe a 300 by 200. Now I can either say I want this to autoplay, meaning that when the web page opens it plays automatically. I can put it on a loop or I can put it on a controller. I'm going to leave it at a controller, which means the person coming into the website has control over that. And then when I click Insert, the video is in place over here. And what's nice about this is that when I go ahead and save this, when I preview it, I'll be able to see um, all the changes that I've made on that particular site. So I'm just going to go ahead, save my changes, and then I'm going to be able to preview what I created um, within my website. So right now it's just got my stuff here and then when I click on preview it's going to let me take a look at everything that I've built so far um, into the site. Now remember I'm doing a sandbox so this is all freebie stuff so it might not um, take all of my stuff okay it might not upload that video it might not upload my picture so you know those are things to keep in mind. Now this next segment that I want to show you is all about customizing it for the look and feel of your own website um, so that you can have your own header your own color scheme all of it fit into play um, so I'm gonna show you that coming up next <laughs>